Hey guys, Nerd1 here, and uh, today is going to be the first day, well, it's, it's dark right now, it's just going to be like this, yeah, but uh, this is a helmet restoration video, and uh, oh, just making it look better than how it is, so we're going to be restoring the shell of this uh, M1A1 helmet, so uh, I got this at a uh, surplus store, it's a replica, and uh, yeah, it's just painted, not in the right color, it's not, it's smooth, it's not coarse how there should be, so we're going to start off this, uh, this project, and I'm a medic, so by the end of it we'll have like, you know, the red cross on the sides and stuff like that, but, uh, yeah, so, let's get started with some sanding, and so, we're not going to sand too much of it, like, we're not going to completely take all this paint off, because that would be very difficult and be a long time to do but we're just going to sand it down make it rough so the paint here that I have right here the olive drape paint will um, be able to stick on this better but uh, so yeah let's start sanding now look at that Alright, so we got it nice and sanded down. It almost looks actually kind of like good for just like not even like giving it a coat of paint. Just sanding it down made it look like a hundred times better than how it did. Like, like look at that. It's like almost spot on. Like, almost the same shade of green as the spray paint we're going to put on it, but like, if it just was like textured and I just like, I would just keep it like this, but it needs to be textured with like the, um, how they did it was they had cork, like fi gr finely grounded up cork and they would just like put it around it so it like be textured. If you looked at pictures and stuff like that, they had a, it just looked textured and stuff or sand or whatever. I'm going to be using a um, texture spray paint because there ain't no sand where near where I live without like driving an hour or two west so uh and uh cork dust I don't know where I could find that I'm not gonna make my own because that just seems a little bit weird but uh so I'm just gonna use the texture spray paint just give a little coat of that and then cover it up with the this uh, olive drape spray paint but yeah, that's the first step of it, sanding. So next step will be uh, the textured cover. So, yeah. All right, so uh, the next step I forgot to film, but we took this, uh, instead of using the cork or sand method, I used, like I said earlier, the stone uh, texture thingy. So I coated it with this. I'm going to paint over it here in a bit, but that's what it's going to look like, hopefully. Oh, it's not focusing, but hopefully, so... All right, so it, yeah, last night I put this little textured layer of spray paint on this helmet, so it's nice and coarse now, and uh, looks like sand's on and stuff like that because I ain't got no cork uh, powder or sand how they actually did it, so I just did the next best thing. And from uh, past times, I've done this with like hard hats, trying to make like Adrian helmets and stuff like that, like World War One French helmets. I did this technique and it turned out really well, but uh, now we're just gonna take the spray paint I have here and uh yeah put a coat on that so let me just all right so uh just a little thing I'm all dressed up because today is Valentine's Day and after school today I'm going out so uh that's why I'm dressed up but uh yeah so we'll get to spray painting
There. So we got it sprayed and it may look lighter in color. Oh, I missed a spot right there. I'll have to go over that. It may look lighter in color right now, but once it darkens, it looks a lot better. I learned from posts like experiments and stuff. But uh so that's what it looks like and look, it's nice textured. Looks like the real deal. So yeah, it will darken and if not, we'll just probably hit it with this spray paint instead, which I probably should have done already. It's just Google suggest for doing that for restoring helmets to use this one, but we'll just have to see how it goes. I mean, there's different pictures online of restored helmets. Some are like this, others are really dark. But uh, I'm going off of helmet I saw the other day at the Living History meeting. But yeah, so we'll let that dry and then uh, probably put this in the garage and come back to it after school sometime. I don't know. All right, so getting home from school, it's uh, not really the shade I want. So I'm going to do a like a cut like darker green just to see how that looks if not i'll just have to pick so yeah so we'll start doing that all right so i'm yeah um back gonna you know spray get one more layer uh now that's dry i could see a bunch of like spots that just the paint didn't get like it's just all scattered around just missed spots so just gonna spray it down some more with the darker green. Oh, Now I'll just do a little look around and see if there's any other spots that need painted. Right there is a little spot. It's a little spray down. Where was it? Perfect. Alrighty. Yeah, that's looking real good. Here. I'll get the camera here. Yeah, just look at that. That is like really, really good looking. Like, look at. Like, I'm I'm proud of this. I'm proud of the way this is coming along. Sorry, I thought I heard someone out in the yard. But yeah, look at that. Very proud of it. I'll probably give it another coating tomorrow, and then. This part of the project will probably be done. All right, so I put the liner back inside of the helmet because we are done uh, giving it a new coat of paint. Uh, it's a lot darker in person, a lot more like better looking than on camera. And I wish I could like show you what that looks like because honestly, through the camera, it doesn't look like there's any difference from what we started besides it's a little lighter. But um, yeah, so we got done. Uh, repainting it look at the texture marks on it and uh, we're gonna give it a few days for the paint to fully cure and then uh, we'll get to start painting the red crosses on it so yeah all right so it's been a little uh, it's been a week and a couple of days since uh, this was done when we got when this was completed the painting of it but, uh, so, next, uh, thing to do is make the, uh, these little stencils for the, uh, Red Cross, uh, things to go on the helmet. So, that's kind of its own whole process. Been cutting little circles out of here with an X-Acto knife. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, yesterday we made out the little, like, stencil for this so we got the helmet all taped up ready for the white circles for the red cross so we're gonna paint the white on now so just put it on a little painting cardboard box move it back a bit away from everything that we don't want to be white uh and i need to go get another piece of cardboard i don't know where the cardboard 
and used was, but here's one right here. Alrighty, so let me just punch out a few dents on this. Same cardboard we used uh, earlier. Just set right here and right there. And hopefully it'll stay in place. Hopefully. Alright. So we're just using white spray paint, some flat white spray paint for this. And uh just gonna Just like that. All righty. Well, we got that done. So uh, we'll now check back here in a uh, in a little bit. See how it looks. In the meantime, we'll go and cut out the little uh, red crosses. So yeah. All right, so uh, while the uh, helmet, the white little spots we put on is drying out there, we're working on a uh, stencil for a stencil, which is, but yeah, so we're cutting out a little cross to put on the white uh, dots we just made, but so, yep, just like yesterday, just cutting them out. So we'll get back to once we're finished. All right, so this is it. We got uh, red crosses taped on, and this will probably be the final uh, coat of paint for this project. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Right here. We got the red spray paint. Yeah, this is kind of crooked. I got to adjust that. There we go. And uh, I'll adjust the camera really fast so you can see the helmet. You gotta be very careful of painting this one. You don't want it running, looking bad. Well, I think that's it. Now we'll just wait and uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys then. All right, so the red paint has dri dried and we're inside now. Oh, there's where we painted it. But uh, we're gonna peel off the tape, see how it is and uh, yeah. All right, so we're back outside. This is what it looks like with all the tape off. It looks really good. I'm not even gonna lie. But uh, there's some spots we need to touch up on like that. And then there's some spot where the tape tore up some uh, paint, so like right there. But um, then that, but uh, for now, because we gotta let this sit overnight, what I'm going to do is just, you know, clean up the little spots that were torn up. So, and then tomorrow we'll clean it up. Probably touch that up too, but Overall, it's looking really good. But yeah, so. Yep. All right, so it's uh, the next night, and uh, yeah, there it is. It is complete. I mean, uh, the touch-up spots right here, you still see a little bit of white going through, but we'll just fix that up. But uh, it looks really good. <laughs> I'm really proud of how it turned out. And uh, yeah, it's been a good little project. Yeah, I'm really proud of how it turns out. And uh, yeah, so just gonna set this right here. And uh, you guys will now see a before and after picture. So yeah. All right, so we got everything touched up on the helmet. This is what it's looking like. It looks really good right now. And um, it's been a fun project. And I guess all that's 
like all not all that needs to be done now is trying it on. All right, so um, yeah, I'm in uniform now, and uh, we're just one piece of the way there. One more, one more accessory to the uniform. Uh, next thing I'll probably have to get is the Red Cross armband and uh, among other things. But uh, yeah, so this is this is the next step to my impression. So uh, that'll be the video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, yeah. Comment down below if you want to see any more World War II videos.